Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. Apart from the regular structural members like beam, column and slab, we have another important type of structure that is retaining wall which is mainly used to retain the earth. So in this video we are going to discuss in detail about retaining wall, what are all the functions and what are all the importance of retaining wall and what are all the various types of retaining walls we have. So without delay let's begin now. First let's look into what is retaining wall. As the name says it helps to retain something whether it is a earth or any other material retaining walls are used to hold earth or any other material it prevent soil from taking its natural position and makes area above and below it usable so it retain the soil and make the area which is above or below can be usable a structure that retains earth and prevent it from sliding or eroding so that is called retaining wall retaining walls are mainly used in all types of of structures like buildings, bridges, tunnels, culvert and underpass. Retaining walls are relatively rigid wall used for supporting soil laterally so that it can be retained at different levels on the two sides. So these walls are constructed to resist the lateral pressure of the soil when the desired ground elevation exceeds the angle of repose of the soil. This is a little bit technical. So these retaining walls are constructed to resist the lateral pressure of the soil when the desired ground elevation exceeds the angle of repose of the soil. Next let's look into the functions of retaining wall. This wall prevent the soil or other material at places with sudden elevation changes. So wherever we need to change the elevation in that case we can use this retaining wall to prevent soil or any other material. Earth retaining structures are used to hold back the earth and maintain the difference in the ground surface height. So earth retaining structures used to hold back the earth and it maintained the difference in the ground surface height. So wherever we wanted to make the difference in the height, ground surface height, in that places we can use these kind of retaining walls. Retaining structures are designed to withstand the grounds or backfill. Other externally exerted loads transmit these forces safely to a foundation. So whatever the other exerted force apart, apart from backfill, so these walls transmit all the forces safely to a foundation. Next let's look into the types of retaining walls. Gravity retaining wall, cantilever retaining wall, counterfoot retaining wall, buttressed retaining wall, crib retaining wall, gabion retaining wall, piled retaining wall and anchored retaining wall. So these are all the major types of retaining walls. Let's look into all types of retaining wall and what are all the functions of each retaining wall. First one is gravity retaining wall. Generally gravity retaining walls are massive in structure and it requires a significant gravity load to counteract the soil pressure. These type of gravity retaining walls can be economical up to a height of 3 meter. So when we need to construct a height of 3 meter retaining wall up to 3 meter we can go with this kind of gravity retaining wall. These type of gravity retaining walls are constructed by using concrete, stone and masonry units. This gravity retaining wall mainly depend upon itself why to resist the lateral earth pressure. Sliding, overturning, bearing pressure all shall be taken into consideration while designing of this kind of gravity retaining wall. Next one is cantilever retaining wall. It is one of the most commonly used retaining wall. It consists of stem which is this one and toe slab, heel slab and shear. This cantilever retaining wall can be constructed by using reinforced concrete, precast concrete or pre-stressed concrete. While designing this type of retaining wall we need to consider bearing pressure, sliding and overturning. This type of retaining wall is economical up to a height of 8 to 10 meter. So if the wall height that is up to a height of 8 to 10 meter then we can go with this kind of cantilever retaining wall. If it is more than that we have to go with other type of retaining wall. It requires smaller quantity of concrete when compared to gravity retaining wall but the design and construction of this retaining wall has to be executed carefully. Here this is the additional provision shear key. This shear key provide resistance
protections against lateral load as well as sliding so as per the design consideration we need to choose the proper width of this stem proper width of the toe slab and heel slab and uh, thickness of toe slab heel slab as well as stem next one is counter foot retaining wall where we have the height of the wall is more than 8 meter then we need to go with this counter foot retaining wall as we have discussed in the cantilever retaining wall that can be used up to 8 to 10 meters if we have the height of the wall as 8 to 12 meter then we need to go for this kind of counter foot retaining wall this also constructed by using reinforced concrete precast concrete or pre-stressed concrete this is also a type of cantilever retaining wall but it is strengthened with counterforts monolithic with the back of the wall slab and base slab so in counterfoot retaining wall these two walls act as a counterfoot and we can divide this area into two rectangular panels this is one rectangular panel and again this is one rectangular panel this is the earth side similar to cantilever retaining wall we have the heel slab as well as the toe slab over here this is the stem wall stem next one is buttressed retaining wall this is similar to counterfoot retaining wall only but the only difference is in counterfoot retaining wall this will be your earth side but in buttressed retaining wall this will be your earth side when you want to go for more economical construction in that case you can go with this kind of buttressed retaining wall next one is crib retaining wall it is also a form of gravity retaining wall this is provided to support the planter areas it is not suitable to support the sloped structure this kind of crib retaining wall can be constructed with interlocking individual boxes made from timber or precast concrete and then these boxes can be filled with crushed stones or coarse granular materials to create a free draining structure this can be constructed by using reinforced concrete timber or precast concrete next one is gabion retaining wall it is also one of the form of gravity retaining wall it is constructed by using multi-celled rectangular wire mesh boxes filled with rocks or other suitable material this gabion retaining wall is used to stabilize steep slope also it is used for the construction of erosion control structures next one is piled retaining wall these piled retaining walls are constructed by driving reinforced concrete piles adjacent to each other as shown in the figure as you can see these are constructed by driving reinforced concrete piles adjacent to each other these piles can be used in both temporary and permanent work this kind of piled retaining walls are driven into a depth that is sufficient to counter the force which try to push over the wall this piled retaining wall offers high stiffness retaining element which are able to hold lateral earth pressure in large excavation with no disturbance of the surrounding structures or properties sheet pile retaining wall can be economical for the height of 6 to 7 meter the last one is anchored retaining wall this kind of retaining wall can be used when space is limited or thin retaining wall is required in anchor retaining wall anchor act against overturning and sliding pressure a high retaining wall can be constructed using this type of structural system this anchored retaining wall can be used for loose soil over rocks in this anchored retaining wall deep cable rods or wires are driven deep inside the earth in the sideways and then concrete can be filled to provide anchor apart from all the types of retaining wall we have discussed we have another type of retaining wall that is called restrained retaining wall which, which can be found in buildings as a basement walls and bridges as abutments in both type of retaining wall the stem is supported by the floor slab in buildings and bridge deck at bridges so for analysis purpose we can consider this stem as a beam fixed at bottom and restrained at top and then we can analyze the step so friends i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box if you have any queries your comments are always welcome if you like the content hit the like button also share it with your friends in the next part of this video let's discuss about the failure modes of retaining wall and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you for watching